Here is a good place to try and get through. The way is clear. Good, I'm in. Now I must find Moriarty. A target from a firing range. A telephone line. Interesting. It comes from that large building. The stand's owner must live here. A target from a firing range. It depicts a lion. The stand's accounts book. Let's look at the book's secret. Secret accounts. The stand's owner must do something other than manage a simple coconut shy, and there is a strange poem about animals. It's the stand's till. There is no money, but there is a wooden target. Let's see. A firing range for children. They have to throw leather balls at the figures of wild animals to knock them over. It's clear that there is a link between the poem in the secret accounts and the animal-shaped targets on the stand. Elementary. There is a hiding place here. Interesting. I am missing... I can't see a keyhole to open this hiding place. There we are. It is simplicity itself. The Stan Slush Fund. I wonder what happened to the owner that he should leave without his savings. If the guard sees me, he will sound the alarm. I must neutralize him, but discreetly. There are probably others, and a fight would attract their attention. It's open. This building was a menagerie. I'm in the service passage. This cage has been blocked with planks so that the interior is hidden from view. A large syringe for animals of a considerable size, evidently. Old bandages. Everything points to that cage having been used to treat sick animals. A key. Oh, what 
a smell. There must have been wild animals here once. I pity the animals that were shut up in here. The cages are very narrow. Nothing of interest here. Apparently it's a medicine chest for first aid, I presume. The only thing intact is this bottle of ether. If the guard sees me, he will sound the alarm. I must neutralize him, but discreetly. There are probably others, and a fight would attract their attention. There. That should interest our guard. Good. My little stratagem is in place. All I need to do is to wait for him to come back here. Shut him up, and quickly. Perfect. Thanks to the ether, this baller will sleep for a long time. Perfect. Another guard. This place is full of them. I cannot risk a confrontation. He'll see me coming and I'll lose the element of surprise. I'll need to find a way to trap him. They must have exhibited those poor wretches in these cages and presented them as being dangerous. Bearded lady. Be careful of those boxes. They are balanced one on top of the other. It would take very little to knock them over. This large, empty aquarium 
held the fair's main attraction, the mermaid, Poseidon's daughter. I suppose it was on this small stage that the monsters were presented to the public. Ah, here's something interesting. Hans's diary. What a dreadful diary. That Hans is the only real monster ever to have frequented this attraction. Chemistry material. The bearded lady kept the key to this exhibition. Interesting. Here's what I've been looking for. I wonder what this machinery is used for. A rail system is fixed to the ceiling and a hook is hanging from it. It must be used for moving heavy and bulky objects. The cage is held shut with this bar. It only needs to be pulled away to open it. This cage is still occupied, not by one of the monsters, but by a poor man. He's still alive, but he's barely human now. Moriarty must have tested his poison on this poor fellow. If he was freed, he would leap at the throat of the first person he saw. I could easily open the cage by raising the door, but that poor man would leap on me immediately. People must have been locked up in here, and they are certain to have been mistreated. is in place. The hook is above the cage of this poor wretch. There, the rope is in place. This way I can open the poor fellow's cage from the outside without taking any risks. The trap is in place. Now I only need to get the guard to go inside the freak show. I could easily open the cage by raising the door, but that poor man would leap on me immediately. must have been warned. I need to get out of here. The guard is inside. I must close the door quickly. Closed. I must find a way of neutralizing the guard inside. I can't do that. I can't.
Well, I'll be leaving you. I'm sure you have a great many things to do. But what have we got here? Ah, there you are, Holmes. Did you have any problems? None, apart from a few small things. What have you found out about this warehouse? Prince Woodville's soup is loaded and contaminated by hands. And in the direction of Whitechapel. Watson, in a few hours, Moriarty will have at his disposal a formidable army, more powerful and more terrible than anything that has ever existed. But what? The soup is destined for a poverty-stricken, starving population who have been conditioned for months against the ruling powers. Moriarty won't have any trouble in sending thousands of raving mad people to ravage the city, sowing death and destruction. No force would be able to resist them, not the police, not even the army. A perfect army, knowing neither fear nor pity. A tidal wave of humanity which will cover London and will fall away again, leaving a city of desolation behind it. What horror! And the chaos will only make Moriarty's coup d'etat even easier. But how will he guard himself against this bloodthirsty crowd? The chaos will only last for the time he needs. You mean to say that these poor wretches will all die? 48 hours after ingesting the soup, according to our good Dr. Shieldman. So the victims will be joined by their executioners. An immense mass murder. What Moriarty would call clearing up after work, no doubt. Good. Have you found a way of stopping Hans's process? Yes, I think so. If we can weaken the reservoir's feet with the explosives, for example, it will collapse and take the building down with it. Good work. What are you looking at? Have you ever seen anything like this before? Never. Look, Holmes, there appears to be some sort of control panel. With an antenna, whatever its purpose might be. I can hear noises. We aren't alone. We had best be careful. Holmes, our priority now is to blow up the tank in the factory to stop the distribution of the soup. Of course, Watson. These caravans must be inhabited. Look, there is smoke coming out of one of them. This stall is a washroom. I can see water basins inside. The door can be blocked from the outside. Interesting. Gallons of vodka. Apparently, they are more interested in games than in cleanliness. I can hear noises. We aren't alone. We had best be careful. This ladder is only held back by a bolt. 
Look, Holmes, the three Russian brothers. With a coal stove and dynamite. What should we do next, Holmes? And then the dynamite would be very useful for blowing up the tank. Good idea. But in order that we can get it, we'll have to get them out of there without their knowing we are here. The best thing to do is to carry on exploring this place, Holmes. It is the chimney pipe. It has been cut. Interesting. It is the chimney. There is no one here, and nothing very interesting. This ladder is only held back by a bolt. An international anarchist's manifesto written in several languages. A metal plate, very solid. A wanted poster in Russian with the portraits of the three brothers on it. I pity the people who must have risked their lives in this attraction. This place must have been magnificent. Shh, Watson, look, on the stage, Prince Woodville. And it is with an immense pride that I take possession of the attributes of the crown and swear in front of you to serve my people with... Gentlemen, who are you? I don't believe I know you. We... Not as yet, Your Royal Highness, but I am overjoyed that you are familiar with the crowning ceremony. Of course. A good king should know it. That makes my duty so very much easier. Let me introduce myself. My name is Howard Sawbury, and I am in charge of the aforementioned protocol and the master of ceremonial events at Buckingham Palace. Um, yes, and I'm Sir John Cannard, in charge of of the peacocks in the Royal Gardens. Congratulations, Sir John. Excellent imagination. I am pleased to meet you, gentlemen. But what brings you here? Do you mean to say that no one has informed you? Have you not been in the city? It is Queen Victoria, of course. She has been dethroned. Really? So soon? Well, according to my special advisor, Professor Moriarty, that should not take place until a few days from now. The people have decided otherwise, sir, and now they're calling for their new sovereign, the benevolent, most understanding Prince Woodville. Ah, gentlemen, you bring me great news. My good people have carried out their duty. I can finally take my rightful place, and happily before the bombs detonated. 
Actually, sir, we're here to warn you that you are in grave danger. What do you mean? Among your close advisors, I regret there are traitors who are already plotting against you. We have reliable information that these terrorists are part of an international anarchist network, and... Ah, gentlemen, I know who you are talking about. I'm sure you mean the strange gentleman employed by Professor Moriarty. Asians or, uh... Russians, sir. Whatever. These men must be stopped before their bombs explode. They're bombs? Yes, Sir John. Bombs placed all over London. I was not at all fond of the idea, but Professor Moriarty was quite adamant. Do you know where these bombs are precisely? Of course not. Uh, but I do know that those anarchists created their exploding devices here. You must tell us everything that you know about the bombs, sir. Why should I? You're not a pyrotechnist, are you? I must speak urgently with Professor Moriarty. Sir, these men, the Russian anarchists, I heard them plotting against you. They want to blow up the theater, and you with it. That is madness. Why would they do that? Tell us everything that you know about the bombs, for we must defuse the one that is hidden here. I have not moved from here since I arrived, and no one apart from you has entered the theater. You are lying, or you are their accomplices. We most certainly are not. That is enough. Leave me. Sir, we're afraid that the beginning of your reign will be scarred by tragedy. Whatever do you mean? I think, however, that it is vital we arrest these terrorists. Tell me where their workshop is, I beg of you, in the name of the British Empire. In a wooden stall between two tents, next to the Russian caravans. Very well. We're going to search. Wait. I demand an explanation. If everyone is plotting against me, how do I know that you are not also party to the plot? But we... Bring me Professor Moriarty, Mr. Sawbury, without delay. Sir John will remain here with me. I should be able to remove the prince without endangering Watson's life. I should be able to remove the prince. There is a label underneath this lever. Magician's trap door, middle of the stage, exactly where the prince is standing. Now I can't do that. You really think so? I truly do. Why, imagine rows of them displaying at the very same moment that the crown is placed upon your head. Perhaps even a few carefully synchronized... These tangled ropes are holding back the curtains.
He is not moving. He appears to have passed out. But he could come around at any moment and sound the alarm. Yes, before leaving the theatre, we must make certain that that does not happen. Not so long ago, those words coming from you would have frozen my blood. Rest assured, my friend, that Sherlock Holmes no longer exists. Get rid of him now. Hey, presto, it's magic. No more paranoid prince. Well done, Holmes. Look, Holmes, Prince Woodville lost his ring during the fight. We must fight. There is an enormous diamond in the middle of this ring. I will give it to the police later. What were these dummies at the front of the stage used for? The prince put them there to represent his public. 